there's a natural curiosity about the true nature of our favorite musicians. Sure, they exude a glamorous facade, but what are they like behind closed doors? How do they treat their employees, friends, and others in their inner circle? For these pop stars, the answer is pretty bad. Other stars have been telling us about Christina Aguilera's apparent true colors for years. Heck, Aguilera has even shown them herself. From throwing gum on her fans to chastising someone for interrupting her interview, saying to the off-camera offender, Are you coughing during my interview, really? <laughs> um, shoot him! She's also said to be absolutely horrible in her personal life. In 2016, an insider told OK Magazine that Aguilera is incredibly rude and demanding and treats her household staff terribly. Apparently, she keeps her team on a tight all-day, all-night schedule in case she needs them. The source added, She has no problem waking up a nanny or maid for the most menial tasks. She's even called a staffer from the other end of the house to get something like a towel that was mere feet away from her. Guys, I don't use a computer. I'm like, really? This is where I'm like, thank God I, I'm a singer. Yep, Justin Bieber's Boy Next Door image is pretty much a facade. The singer admitted to Vogue in 2019 that his hard partying ways led to drug abuse and disrespect of women. And don't even get us started on his 2014 deposition, of which TMZ described him as being arrogant, contentious, and disrespectful. But perhaps worst of all, Bieber reportedly isn't even nice to his fans. While hanging out in Australia in 2013, a local news outlet reported Bieber told a bikini-clad woman, "'You look like a beached whale. You should go on The Biggest Loser.'" Mix that with the time he allegedly spit on his fans from a balcony, which he denied, and the time he admonished fans who had paid hundreds to see him in concert because they wouldn't stop screaming, and you've got one terrible dude. If you're screaming and super overwhelming, it's hard for me to kind of connect with you. Mariah Carey has earned herself a bad reputation for diva behavior that includes having people push her around in chairs and a list of demands on her tour writer that's so ridiculous, it includes the installation of gold faucets and brand new toilet seats in her hotel suite prior to her arrival, per the New York Post. I am so sorry. I, I thought I booked a hotel and I Shh, she's so rude. Yeah, come on, do it. Leslie, you booked me in a hostel. To make matters worse, there have been times when she allegedly underpaid her staff. Carrie's colleague Cedric Garbro spoke up in a since-deleted Facebook post about her outlandish antics, claiming, Mariah was unprofessional and borderline abusive to our director, who tried his best to appease her every wish. Oh my goodness, there's some people. I'm not even going to get into it. <laughs> they're bleak, darling, they're bleak. In 2016, her own brother told The Sun that Carrie refused to help their HIV-positive sister, Allison, with medical bills, even though she had the means to do so. He said, "...she probably spends more on dog food than it would cost to make sure her sister gets properly cared for." Don't be fooled by her sweet voice and cute ponytail. Ariana Grande is said to be a pretty nasty person. On top of wishing her fans would die via the New York Daily News, she allegedly steals ideas from other artists has licked donuts that were later purchased by customers, and once said that she hates America and Americans. Oh, and then there are Juliana Rancic's claims that Grande once nudged her out of the way at the AMAs so that cameras could capture her good side for the Daily Mail. It's like you don't know what to do. I, I was so disgusted with myself. Though Grande apologized for some of those incidents, her alleged obnoxious behavior remains. A source close to her ex, Pete Davidson, told People that after their breakup in 2018, Pete blocked her and said, "'Stop reaching out. You're not good for my health. I can't have this in my life.'" If this were the early 2000s, people would likely describe Kanye West as a talented kid from Chicago with a heart of gold. But boy, have things changed. These days, the rapper is known for assaulting photographers, punching out fiery Twitter rants, and making disparaging comments. From his outrageous commentary about slavery to literally declaring himself a god, we could write a novel about West's eye-roll-inducing antics over the years. I don't know anyone, you know, that up as much as I have. Instead, we'll highlight one example from when he let his terrible flag fly during a Twitter fight with fellow rapper Wiz Khalifa in 2016, according to The Rap. Between jabs, West roasted the rapper for dating ex-stripper Amber Rose, who also happens to be West's ex, tweeting, "'You let a stripper trap you.'" He then claimed he was basically the reason for the couple's baby, writing, "'You wouldn't have a child if it wasn't for me. I own your child.'" Rose, of course, has also had a long and complicated relationship with both West and the Kardashians, and she slung her fair share of mud on each throughout the years. However, West took things right into the gutter when he told The Breakfast Club what he had to do before moving on from Rose to Kim Kardashian. I had to take 30 showers before I got with Kim, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my <God>. I'm sorry. <laughs> Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.